Okay, I'm going to show you in this video the uh, manufacturer's recommended lubrication points uh, for a most 1911s, um, but this in particular is a Kimber Pro Carry 2. I've already disassembled it, uh, field stripped it, and ready to go, cleaned it all up. So it's nice and clean. So the first place we're going to lubricate is the barrel. You want to put a couple of drops, say about three drops on the outside of the barrel. You want to work that around. Uh, this is not only to help it lock into place in the slide with those lugs, but to protect it from corrosion. We also want to put a drop right there with a the barrel link. So that's nice and free. I'm going to set that aside. And we have the slide stop lever. Just want to put one small drop on there. Spread that around. Set that aside. Now for the recoil spring and guide rod, we want to put one drop here. That's kind of a big drop. If you feel like you put too much on there, you can always take a little bit off. I like to put an extra drop right on that side as well. Let that fall down in there. By the way, I'm using, um, this is called Original Gun Oil. This is a, a pretty high quality oil. It's non-toxic, non-staining, and non-scented. And I'm actually doing this down in my basement, which uh, if I was using a different oil or a solvent, which uh, this is actually a cleaner as well, I would have to be out in the garage because it just stinks up the house too much. And it's non-toxic, so I don't mind getting it on my hands a little bit. Let's move on to the slide. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get this stuff for a 10% discount. But anyway, we want to put a drop right on here. We want to put a couple of drops right in the slide notch there on both sides. That's going to be good there. Lastly, the frame. We want to do the same thing here. We want to put a couple drops on the rail. And one on the disconnector plunger right here. And one between the hammer and the frame. There we have it. Once you get everything lubed up like that, now all we have to do is put it back together. So you wanna put the link forward, slide that in, put the link up, place your guide rod, assembly in, put, slide it up against the link, just like that. This is a little tricky while I'm filming, but we want it to be just like that. And when we slide it in, we're gonna to wanna to line this hole up with these holes. So we're gonna just put it on like that. Slide it on. As soon as those holes line up, take this, just put it in there just to hold it in place. Now we want to get this notch to be right on top of this square hole here. Sometimes you have to force it a little bit. So now that notch is right in the middle of that hole. You want to line this curved notch up with that notch. Press it in just like that. And you can continue backward. Press your slide stop up into the notch to hold it in place. That releases your takedown tool. Now, you can close the action. Work it back and forth. Work it back and forth five or six times. And now you wanna take a cloth, a nice soft cloth. I just use some torn up uh, t-shirts 
wipe the gun down, get any excess oil lube off of there. And it looks great. Now we're good to go. Now you want to gonna want to do a function and safety check, and I'll leave a link down below uh, for my page and article on how to do a complete 1911 function and safety check. All right, thanks for watching.